Welcome back to the show, everybody. I wanted to do this quick video here. We're going to do a little identification lesson. Um, this snake was photographed in Virginia. And you may immediately think, well, it's in the water. It has some reddish bands going down the body. Well, boom, it must be a water snake, right? I jump to that conclusion. You might consider the range in Virginia. Northern water snake is the predominant species in Virginia. There's only one other water snake species in Virginia, and that is the plain-bellied water snake, which does not have these cross bands. You might be asking yourself, what's the lesson? And you examine the snake in this photo. If you look closely at the head, we can see a somewhat shortened, rounded snout. We can see that there is a pattern on top of the head sometimes called a head stamp in herpetology. And there's also a, a, a face stripe. You can see that, that stripe from behind the eye going down at a slight angle. And then when we look at the rest of the snake, we can see those, those markings, those reddish markings going down the length of the body. They don't turn into blotches. They don't break up. They're pretty much evenly distributed down the body of the snake. When we look at the snake as a whole, and we don't jump to conclusions, and if you're also familiar with the species, we'll be able to identify this snake as a mole king snake, a non-venomous mole king snake that happens to be in the water. But we all do it. The lesson is don't jump to conclusions. Examine the snake, take your time and look at the snake. Don't immediately jump to what you think is the obvious answer of northern water snake. This is not a northern water snake. Although at a quick glance, it may look like one. When we actually examine the characteristics, we see that it's actually a mole king snake, which is a pretty cool find, a very secretive snake. Spends a lot of time underground, eats a variety of prey like most king snakes do. So this is a cool observation of a mole king snake, a non-venomous species in Virginia. We all do it. We all jump to conclusions, including myself. But that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching the video. It's a quick one. So please subscribe to the channel and share this video on your page. Share it with friends and anybody that has an interest in learning about snakes.